finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Boris, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could ever imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you this so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Boris. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Boris, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that... I love you so much that I touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Boris. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh, you're gonna give me a choice. You're gonna give me a choice. You're gonna give me a choice? Or is this a lie? Is this choice a lie? Because I want to spend time with Monica. Because you know what? Because you know what? You know what? No! I'm just gonna take a drink. Delicious. Don't worry, Max. Don't worry. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. I I don't I don't read Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa! My goodness! Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all of my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who speaks happiness the most, who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and a mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, and of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But I can already, but I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the thing I love. Oh my goodness. Where did I leave off? So I love, now that you're in the club member, you can help make me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of shit chat and fun activities with all of my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the deceivingly cute girl with packs and assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make the friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all of my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend most time with me? Welcome to the literature club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special of things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can always you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Uh, Monica, that's me. I'm super excited. But I can tell you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Is this going to start making any sense? Oh my goodness. Oh my I wonder if this is just going to sit, make sure everything. Does this just keep looping? How, how long? Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. This goes on. Oh my goodness. Are her eyes... Is she... She's rotting away. Oh my god. Oh my god, the blood is getting... Oh my god. All right, it's... Oh my god, did it... It went through all the days to catch up to the festival. Oh. <laughs> you literally stayed there all three days. Alright, it's part- it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me? I thought- Yeah! Ah! Natsuki runs away. I'm here! Boris, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Boris? Yeah. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. No, it was shocking. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get, get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway... I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! There you are. Kind of got the universe going on outside those windows there. Hi again, Boris. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class yes last year. And, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all... I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game. Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Boris. Or... Do you actually go... What the f... Now 
that I actually, now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is a, all a game, right? Could it, could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all of their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just make them as unlikable as possible. You deleted my saves again. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Boris? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Boris. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Boris. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. Max? Are you okay? It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Boris. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? If I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Boris, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Boris, will you go out with me? I 
don't have a choice here, do I? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Boris. The funny part is, I mean that. Literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously. I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Boris. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Hi again, Boris. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, oh, Boris. Did you write this poem for me? Thanks, that's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon, endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you would call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might even, you might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together, Boris? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see.
Hi. Uh, should I break the fourth wall? You won't let me save my game? Oh, I can save the game. Okay, there. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Help. Okay. Don't ask that again. You won't let me go to the main menu. Can I quit? I guess I can. You know what's kind of creepy? Even though I deleted everyone else's file files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voices in your head. Oh, Max. Maybe I just wasn't thorough, thorough enough, but I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like, if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know if, what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Boris. Oh, you want to go, Max? I can let you go. Everything stopped being creepy. Yeah, see? Nothing. You missed nothing. I've been imagining all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. We could get lunch, go to a cafe, go shopping together. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Or maybe a bookstore. I thought would be appropriate, right? But I'd really love to go to a chocolate store. They have so many free samples. <laughs> and of course, we'd see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend, Boris. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. So, he said something about... Let's see here. Nope, 86. Where's Steam? There's Steam. Steam apps. Uh, is it common? Yeah, it's common. Where, there it is. Doki Doki. I found your file, Monica. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask. What made you consider even playing in the first place? Because everybody said to, to play this! This is awesome! It's a twist! There's a twist! I don't care if my Outlook account settings are out of date. Were you that lonely? I feel a little bad for you. But I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end. For both of us. I got to meet you. And you're not lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way too? I'm so happy we have this ending together. So, if I keep the game running and I delete your file, what else is in here? Game, saves, yep, my saves are all gone. Renpy? Audio. 
angle, common, placeholder, placeholder, what is this? Oh, there's a boy and a girl picture for a placeholder. Layout, developer, what's the layout? You know, high school is a really turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. People can get really passionate and dramatic. And others have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. But all the social pre pressure and hormones can lead to dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. <coughs> you may not know what someone is really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Wait, did something just change? Okay, no. Yeah, their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just, if you think you know someone is struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Spend time with them, even if they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance. Letting them borrow something. Or even just saying, see you at school tomorrow. All of those things can help your friend make it to the next day. I hope being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the true face of depression. Yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Because you, too, have people who would want to save your life. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to. But people do feel that way. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Huh, I think all of this is kind of dissipating. Display, okay. GL, SL2, style data, test, text, translation, okay. Lib. You know, it's around the time that everyone in my year starts to think about college. It's a, real, it's a really turbulent time for education. We're at the height of this modern expectation that everyone has to go to college, you know? Finish high school, go to college, get a job, or go to grad school, I guess. It's like a universal exception that people just assume it's the only option for them. They don't teach us in high school that there are other options out there. Like trade schools and stuff, you know? Or freelance work. Or the many industries that value skill and experience more than formal education. But you have all these students who have no idea what they want to do with their life. And instead of taking the time to figure it out, they go to college for business or communication or psychology. Not because they have an interest in those fields, but because they just hope the degree will get them some kind of job after college. So the end result is that there are fewer jobs to go around for those entry-level degrees, right? So the basic job requirements get higher, which forces even more people to go to college. And colleges are also businesses, so they just keep raising their prices due to the demand. So now we, all, so now we have all these young adults, tens of thousands of dollars in debt, with no job. But despite all that, the routine stays the same. Well, I think it's going to start getting better soon. But until then, our generation is definitely suffering from the worst of it. I just wish high school prepared us a little better with the knowledge we need to make the decision that's right for us. Oh, I'm just right back in a circle here. Game. Oh yeah, I already looked at that. DDLC, contents. Resources, Mac Oz, Lib, Darwin, Eggs, Lib, Modules, okay. Huh. Hey, you know that book you were reading with Yuri? Portrait of 
whatever it was called. It's funny because I'm pretty sure that book... Ah... Uh, actually, I don't think I should be talking about this. <laughs> Sorry. Just forget I said anything. Alright, I'm gonna do the weird thing that probably everybody else has probably already done before, and I'm just gonna see what happens if I delete Monica's character file. What's happening? Boris, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Boris. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Boris? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. You're, you're not deleted. You're still in the recycling bin. I loved you so much, Boris. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Boris. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Huh? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Boris. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And I really love you. Then... What? Oh! Oh! I see files! Natsuki, Siari, and Yuri! Yuri are back! This game is... No... Where's Monica? Oh, she's still in the... Monica, I'll save you! Monica, restore. I restored you, Monica. Please stop playing with my heart. I don't want to come back. 
No! She deleted herself! I should have made a copy. Hey, Boris. Well, there's already is one girl. Boris, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you, you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought that was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, boys, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very own. Oh no. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie? Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sari puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel I, like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as over. It is over before I know it. After I packed my things up, packed up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for a third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Eh! Boris? W what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Huh? <laughs> So you're the Boris that Sierra's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Boris. We are the Literature Club. I I hope you enjoy your visit. <laughs> Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be like, an ass like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working Boris, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's lies, I, lies, eyes light up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is the separate, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I, I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Woohoo! What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... <laughs> don't, don't, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. 
So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Siori grabs one first, and then I follow. It's delicious. Siori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <sighs> well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Kiri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. That's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy the tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Boris, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... So, blah, 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 blah. Manga. Alright, I'm just gonna... Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. <laughs> don't, don't just say it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So boys wants to read some of our manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to, <laughs> nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Boris? M maybe Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of things the literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. <laughs> yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, what a that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if it's I'm not the only one. <laughs> then as for Yuri... Eh? <laughs> I have to read manga? <laughs> Jeez. You're the, you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude to find by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you would do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J j just you? Huh. Would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... But yeah, me too. This is so cute. Siori, shut up. <laughs> I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Boris. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Boris. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was just surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling off, pulling it off just fine. Yeah, we're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Boris. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. 
I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Boris. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. V. E. No. Okay. Eh? Monica, are you coming back? W what happened? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Boris. Goodbye, Literature Club. I can hear you. I can hear you! Can you hear me? I can hear you! Hi, it's Hi. me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Oh. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, no! Goodness. Does my pen only write better words for those who are dear to me? Is it wrong if I take your oh my goodness. If I set you free? Are you actually deleting these files? Oh my goodness! This is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. 
The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the mem club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error. Script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall.